Hello, my name is Sarah Duong. I am a project manager and consultant at Concentris. Today, I wanna go over really quickly how to delete and dispose of assets. So let's start with disposing of an asset. Um, disposing of an asset, there's two ways we can do that. Um, first, you go through the fixed asset module and you go to transactions and hit asset disposal. It will take you to this screen where you can choose what type of disposal you wanna do. You can either um, sell it. So typically something like furniture or computer, you wanna sell it to a customer or to maybe um, uh, an employee. And then there is a straight write-off. So what we'll do is uh, I'll show you a sale for now. So we'll pick the disposal type, the disposal date, and we will also uh, pick the customer. If you want to sell to an employee, you will have to make them a customer in this case. You will have um, set up a sales item specifically for disposal. And you would choose your asset. Okay, and you'll choose a sales amount. So for this instance, um, the current book value is 593, 750. Um, maybe we sell it for a loss at 500. And you click add and then you click dispose. Um, so it will go through the process. I'll show you what happens after it syncs up everything. So this is an asset that I disposed of through a sale earlier. You'll notice that the asset status becomes disposed. I wanna show you the depreciation history, which shows you the sale and the associated journal entry with that sale. And the journal entry is here. Um, so you'll notice that I also sold this one for a loss at 900, um, but because the asset has the disposal and the gains in the same account, that's why you see it lumped together here. So if you, I'll show you the as asset. Um, under accounts, you'll see that the disposal account and the write down accounts are the same. Here is the invoice that was created. You'll see that I sold it for 900. Um, this specific invoice also had um, shipping. So it's showing up shipping costs here. Okay, so that is a sale. Let me go back here. Um, so if you were to go through a write down, it's the same process, even simpler. Um, so you just need to change it to the write off type and then the disposal date. And again, um, just select the asset you want to dispose of, the quantity and location is correct. Hit dispose, it'll go through its processing. Let me show you one that I've already written off. Um, again, this one is in asset status as disposed, and I will show you the depreciation history, and it sees, and you can see the disposal here, and this is the associated um, journal entry. So let me open that up. So you can see the GL impact here. Okay, so that's simple. The next thing I'd like to show you is um, deleting an asset. So the difference between deleting and disposing of an asset is um, when you delete an asset, it deletes everything. So all associated records gets deleted, all um, history gets deleted, everything. So it's like the asset didn't exist. Whereas if you dispose of a sale or just a write-off, um, it does have that trail, that audit trail. It does um, remove it um, from a GL perspective. So in order to delete an asset completely, go to fix assets um, under setup and delete assets. So simply you can select an asset to delete. Um, or you can import um, if you've got a whole list of them. Okay, so I added this and then I will hit delete and it will go through its processing. Um, what I wanna show you is one that has been completed the process. 
Um, you'll see here that I was deleting an asset and I actually ran into an error, which you will commonly run into um, when you're trying to delete assets because of related records. Um, so this particular one has a proposal record related to it. The way I found this proposal record is I went to fix assets under searches. There is a proposal history and I'll take you to this list. I find the asset over here. I edit it um, and I can um, delete. Once I delete this asset proposal, I can go back and rerun the entire um, deletion process again. Okay, So that's the nuts and bolts of deleting and disposing of an asset uh, within the fixed asset module. Thank you.